this is the printer bot printing the Z bearing assembly for um, for little for baby Huey. This is the last print. There's four of these. They take three and a half hours each. This is sliced to 0.4 millimeter. You can see it's just doing the some of the some of the bridging. I think. You can't see that well through the camera. This is about three quarters of the way through the print. And um, some of the support material at the back has kind of um, gone, gone strange, but it shouldn't matter. It's kind of optional, it just stops the PLA sagging as much when it bridges. That's the area there. There's a close-up of that uh, bridging material. The thicker part at the front is all, also support um, and I'll probably thicken the others up to the, to the same same thickness and all my problems seem to have been with the same the same bridge here's a shot here's a shot from the back of the printer we're two layers away from the the bridging for the the motor or idler supports that's the mucky area and I'll start the camera again when we're bridging. The printer dropped one of the, the threads going across, so it's going to make a big mess here as it tries to bridge into free space and just drop everything down into the hole. Twenty-five minutes to go. Getting there, we're up to the layer where we're doing the the screw, the screw nut holes for the mounting the motors, etc. There's a few problems with with my model slicer wasn't uh, able to cope with some of the bridging, but it's just cosmetic. The lift point idea worked perfectly. There's a, a little um, indentation here, and I got um, I got something under that, and it lifted off. And you can see it's um, it's come off more or less in one piece. Very little um, little muck remaining. If I get this scraper, hard to do with one hand, but. Uh, that, yeah, see that comes off. That comes comes off fairly easily, but you got to be careful because the polycarbonate is fairly soft and, and will cut. This is the SketchUp model of the Baby Huey project. Um, that's how things are supposed to go together. So the Z bearing assembly is here and the working copy of it is over here. So one of the first things I'll do is fix up that uh, that bit of, bit of support material. This support material is a bit thin, it's only 0.3 wide, it should still print okay on a on a 0.5 nozzle but I'm going to uh, bring it out 0.7 millimeters to make that one millimeter wide and measure that yep one meter one millimeter I work at a thousand to one scale so it would actually shows up as a meter but it's it's really one meter one millimeter 
you know, the other problems were in here. I've already added some uh, support material to this piece and I'll uh, add some support material in here in the form of a, a couple of thin uh, 0.5 millimeter walls. I uh, won't bore you with the whole process. I'll set up a couple of guides and I'll start the video again when I'm ready. I've set up some guides. So this is 0.5 millimeter by 3 millimeters. So that I'm not sure that's okay, that's worked or not. We'll see. Pull this down. No, it's only I've got a problem in that edge. Okay, I fixed that by um, deleting an edge in here, and now I'll do a pull down of that shape. Oops, wrong one. That one, and I have to do a control pull down, otherwise it'll it'll uh, it, it'll stop when it hits here. So control and write down and I have to go back now and uh, edit all of these overlapping vertices will take me five or ten minutes. All fixed and past the solid inspector. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at it in X-ray X-ray mode. So the motor or idler plates attach here, intended to take a NEMA 17. This is all support material. The two inner ones need to be removed. The outer one can, uh, can stay there. There are two skate bearings that um, are held in place by 8mm pins which go through here. The holes for the pins go right through so that you can push the pin out again from the other side if you need to remove it. There are two 12mm rods for the for the main XY uh, stage assembly. These diamonds are calibration marks to check that the, the printer is, uh, is scaled and calibrated correctly. Back here this is a, a little dimple to help get the, the print off the print bed. The print is upside down as you see it is normally fitted with the, um, the, the M6 nut down. The M6 nut for the lifting goes in here and a threaded rod goes, goes through there. I think that just about covers it. The whole assembly rides up and down a 25 or 25.4 millimeter square uh, square tube or square shaft so there are the the two bearings run against the against the sh the uh, the square steel or aluminium or whatever it is and uh, the belt tension f from the motors or whatever's fitted in here uh, forces the the assembly up against the the steel there's no stability um, in the other directions. It relies on the other parts being being fitted and the threaded rods being fitted to hold everything level. Here is the completed bearing assembly. <coughs> it's been fitted. It's got an idler there. It's got the stepper motor there, and the um, threaded rods in here. You can see it basically works, makes it go up and down. The part is a little bit unstable, I don't think that's a problem, but extending it into this space here would make it more rigid without reducing the, the, the print area, <coughs> but that requires a larger printer. 
so if Huey works as a rep rep, that may be one of its first first jobs. Um, so that's the head assembly, normally driven from both ends, and uh, motor, Z motors, um, a dummy fitting of the belts. Basically, looks like it's going to work. This is the, the Z motor crown coupling. This is the idler. We're still months away from running, but uh, things are progressing. <laughs>